Thank Rachel, you. this is holiday time. It's my favorite time of the year, too. But unfortunately, it's the time of year when fires go up, That's especially right. accidental fires. So we're going to talk about a few things here to help keep you and your family safe, messages we want to share with the audience. So right. let's start with candles. The candle market has exploded the past 10 years. Everyone uses Absolutely. them decoratively to scent their houses. So as candles gifts, as we gifts. We give and get as gifts. Exactly. Everybody loves candles. But we have to use them safely. Mm -hmm. So here's a quick tip for candles, especially during the holiday time, if you, if you don't use them a lot, is we want to put something down like tin foil, something non-combustible. What does that mean? It means it's not going to burn. Sure. Okay, we want to catch the wax, but we also want to put a layer between the candle and something that's going to burn. So as we do something simple like that, we can put our candles out on top of our tin foil, and we can light them. Can we put some of the chapstick oh, around yeah, that so sure. it doesn't you, look you like can, you left dirty tin You can tin foil on the dress this up, but I'll tell you, Rachel, the one thing we don't want to do <laughs> right? is we don't want to put our candles near drapery. We don't want to put them near the curtains or other furnishings. We want to have what's called a three-foot ring of safety around our lit candles oh, that's a good all tip. the time. It, Always keep three feet between the candle and anything that's exactly. flammable. Exactly. Keep the right. kids away. Right. That's awesome. What's next? We're moving on to your beautiful Christmas tree. Right. Okay. We're all very proud of our tree. It's a great family tradition. We love to decorate it. We love to display it. But there's a few things we need to know. Sure. First of all, where we put the tree. We don't want to put the tree anywhere where it's going to block our path to get out in case of an emergency. Oh, that's a good point. Okay. Yeah. The second thing is we don't want to have our tree near anything that gets hot naturally. So we don't want to put it in the front window for the neighbors to see if that's where the radiator is. We don't want to put it next to the fireplace, although that makes a great picture for our Christmas card. That's not the best place to put the tree either. We don't want to have this tree dry out. Well, that's the thing. You don't want to cook the tree. Exactly. Right, right. A dry mm. Christmas tree will burn in 30 seconds. It's devastating. They make turpentine out of pine trees. Wow. Okay, so think of that in it's your home. It's very flammable and once it's dried out. And think of that on fire. And keep them watered, for goodness sake. Oh, when absolutely. you bring them home, absolutely cut them fresh. The key is... Cut the trim the bottom. Talk to your and, tree. Yep. Communicate with your tree, okay? Come over every once in a while Seriously, during the it, season. It should be supple okay? and, it should. and not... Be when these needles, needles start falling off... Bye-bye. You're getting in a dangerous situation. Keep it watered. Exactly. Okay? Good one. Christmas lights. Okay, we love our lights. We put them on the tree. We Actually, put them on our home. Actually, most of us hate our lights. Well, Fire Marshal. <laughs> you hate them when they look like this. Okay? Yes, exactly. But this is why I have these like this, okay? Because this is how they come out of your attic or out of your garage where they've been all summer. Right. Okay, so it's very important before we put them back on the tree or on our home to go through these. And we want to inspect them. We want to go through and, oh, oh, here we go. Here's a problem. Make sure there's no exposed wires. Exactly. No gotcha. frayed wires, no exposed wires. Here we have a broken bulb. Okay, yep. so not only do we have a shock hazard, but we have a fire hazard. So very carefully inspect the whole string. When we put them on, don't put more than three together. Three strings. Oh, everybody cheats at that Don't one. cheat. Yep. Don't cheat. Oh, okay? they'll string together 50 of them if Oh, they I've can. seen much more. I know. Okay? Don't do it. Resist the temptation. Keep it down to three strings plugged in together. You'll be okay. Also, you want to make sure you buy the lights in a reputable store. When it comes to electrical appliances, Christmas lights, anything like that, get them from a reputable place. And make sure that it has a marking similar to this, okay, which says UL, which means they've been tested for the use that they're designed for, okay? And as long as you maintain them okay, they'll be safe forever. You know, it's like sh shoes. Buy a good pair of shoes. Buy Spend a the good money, pair of lights. Buy the exactly. good shoes, exactly. Spend the money, buy the good Christmas lights.